Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is Wellness Wednesday, my week three. And as I was thinking about it, um, if you count the days, I've only been on plan for 15 days. So technically that's two weeks. So this is like the start of my third week. Tell we leave the kitty cat alone. Oh my goodness. He's gotta be in every video. Don't you, bud bud. Anyway, so I don't know. We're just, this is, we're just saying it's week three. I'm going into the third week of this. So last week, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you the numbers. So those of you who want to stay and just hear the numbers, it's gonna be here, you can click off. Those of you who wanna hear a little bit more chit chat, uh, stay tuned because I have a lot of things I wanna say this week. Um, so last week, my weight was a disappointing 173.4. And this morning when I weighed in, I was 171. So that is a 2.4 pound loss and a total since the start of all of this of 3.4 pounds. Now, I have to tell you something. During this past week, my weight went up to 177.7, practically 178. So if you take it from there, 177.7 to 171 this morning, that's actually a lot more of a loss. I have no idea why my weight spiked like that. Um, I have some theories, I have some thoughts, but I really don't know what the deal was with that. So I'm not counting that because uh, it only stayed that way for several days, but anyways, this week, at least I am down um, a couple of pounds, so I am thankful and appreciative of that. All right, so I want to talk about my hardest challenges and my greatest successes this week, and then I'll go into what worked, what didn't work, and then what am I going to do continuing on into this third week. So hardest challenge was the scale going up no matter what I did. Um, I did everything right and that scale just kept going up and going up and going up. I don't know. <laughs> really don't know. Um, and then the other hardest challenge that I faced this week was just disappointment and frustration uh, surrounding my eating, surrounding, not, not even surrounding my gym stuff. That was on point, but just surrounding the fact that it was like, it didn't matter what I did. My weight just kept going up and it was so frustrating because... Well, those of you who've been there know the frustration. I wanted to give up. I wanted to just be like, well, what's the point, you know? But I know how that feels. I've done that before, and that is what got me to my heaviest weight of 273. So I wanted to do something different this go around. You know, so I knew that wasn't the answer, but it really, it really messed with me a lot. Um, so my greatest uh, successes this week was basically just taking personal responsibility for what was going on in my life. And I am obviously meaning this surrounding food, but I do feel like God has been teaching me more and more about personal responsibility in every aspect of my life. So personal responsibility in how I react to situations and people in difficult things taking responsibility for how I speak in the moment, in that situation, taking responsibility for how I handle my frustration. So whether I'm turning to food or I'm turning to working out or I'm just sitting with that and experiencing it and feeling with it, taking responsibility for my personal life. And this can also, I realized as I was learning about this this week, this can also be personal responsibility in your finances, personal responsibility in parenting and your husband, wife, however that works. You have to be personally responsible for you and you alone. You cannot be responsible for other people. Now, obviously your kids and that kind of stuff. But anyway, so that was a really great success and something that continued, even though I was having these huge disappointments and these huge frustrations to just take responsibility for it and figure out what I needed to do. So let's do what didn't work this week. Um, honestly, I felt like this whole week was just bad. Um, I felt like 
Uh, everything in this week was just hard it, it, in food and life in general. It was just a kind of crappy week, to be honest with you. Um, so a couple things that I realized that wasn't working is the Trim Healthy Mama. Either I am just not getting it or I'm doing it wrong or I don't know. It just is not working for me. And even though I was doing the plan and eating how they wanted me to eat within the time frames that they wanted me to eat, it was like my weight just kept going up and up. Toby, what you doing? Quit. Oh, that dog. He has this obsession with licking his feet. Do any of your other dogs, do you guys dogs do that? It's um, basically almond milk, a cup of almond milk, a cup of water, and uh, sugar-free chocolate syrup. So it's kind of like chocolate milk, but it's hot because I made it. I made it hot, and it's freezing today here in Georgia. So, um, rabbit trail. But this is good. This is a nice little treat. All right. So the trim healthy mama thing just wasn't working. Um, I have read the book. I. It makes so much sense. I love the idea of separating the fuel sources and then that way you're still able to enjoy the things like brown white rice, quinoa, different fruits, um, different grains and beans and stuff like that. But for whatever reason, right now, this is it totally was not working for me. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This isn't really what about what's not working, but it leads us into what did work. And so what I realized is that the more times, for somebody who struggles with food addictions, the more time you have to make a food-related choice. So if you're, like with Trim Healthy Mama, they want you to eat every three hours, and um, so that's basically five to six times a day that you're having to make a food-related choice, which means there's a lot more opportunity to make a bad choice. <laughs> I had set my alarms, I had done everything, I was, I was doing the plan, and for me, again, at this season, it wasn't working. And so the more options I had for food, the more options and chances I had to fail. And I kept feeling like I was a failure. And that is just, it puts you in this cycle um, and puts you in this mindset of um, defeat and disappointment and frustration. So that's what kind of didn't work. So what did work this week? So um, I am still carrying around my little trusty clipboardy thing. Um, I have taken out the Trim Healthy Mama stuff I had originally put in there. Toby, find a spot, buddy. His nails clicking on this floor drive me nuts. Um, so, but I did leave the um, meal ideas in there because those are still keto and um, my verses are in there and my habits that I'm working on breaking. And then the other thing is that I have switched to, I was using that very generic thing that just kind of had your meals and all that. I've switched to this. And so you can see it is a whole lot more detailed and it's a two page, two sided thing. Um, and this is super, super highly hyper documenting every calorie, every everything that you are eating. And so on here, you're tracking calories, fat grams, carbs, fiber, protein, and then I also want to track sugar because sugar is a big issue for me. You also have a place for vitamins, water intake, um, your grand total on the back right here, and then like your exercise and notes. And up at the top, it tells you what day, you write what day you're on, your date, and then you, they actually, on this, on this particular one, you weigh every day, which I'm an everyday weigher anyways. For me, again, it's actually taking personal responsibility for my weight and not hiding it because there's been many times in my life where I will not get on the scale because I don't actually want to take responsibility for that. So that's been working. Um, the other thing, and the reason I switched back to this is the other thing that was really good was after I cried, and after I prayed, and after I cried some more, and after I thought some more about, okay, this is clearly not working, what do I do? Quitting's not an option, so where do I go? And one thing I really enjoy, because I'm such like a writer, a journaler, uh, I love paper stuff, um, even my notes, 
are on paper for the weeks, um, is that you can actually go back and look at all of this stuff. And um, that way you can actually kick cat. Now the cat's scratching out the door to go out. So um, you can actually look back and see how, what was I eating? What did my day look like? How was I handling things when I was at a particular weight? So I actually went back to find out what was I doing when I was at my goal weight of 150 or 145 pounds. I'm gonna let this cat out. I am not stopping the video because I don't feel like editing. And I promise you in probably five minutes, he's gonna be scratching to come back in. We'll see him in there. So anyways, I actually, I went back, I looked at what was I doing? What was I eating? What did my workouts look like? And because clearly that was working. And that was when I felt the best. That was when I was actually, as far as fat percent, um, BMI, okay, that's like, it's a good judge, but it's not really the judge. And, um, but my fat percent was at its all time lowest um, when I was eating this way. So I went back, I looked, I saw what I was doing. And so for the past couple of days, I have been implementing what I was doing during then. And what I was doing was keto, um, intermittent, oh, sorry, gotta get comfortable, intermittent fasting and OMED, which OMED is one meal a day. Um, so intermittent fasting, you choose how you want to fast. You are fasting when you are sleeping, when you wake up and you consume calories, they say it's roughly 50 calories that will break a fast and put your body into digestion mode. Um, that's the end of your fast. So you can kind of choose how long you're going to fast. And basically what I've been doing is my coffee in the morning, which technically breaks the fast, but I'm not going to be too picky about it. Um, because of my heavy whipping cream and my collagen and that kind of stuff in it. And then um, I really have just been listening to my hunger cues. And when I get hungry is when I'm going to eat. And it's going to be a big meal. And yesterday I had the cabbage and bacon and onions and just a big bowl of it. I didn't even end up eating all of that. Um, and then a lot of times at night if I'm just wanting something sweet or I feel like I just need a little bit of nutrition, then it's a protein shake. And I have been fully satisfied and content with that. And it really has cut the cravings. Um, I'm not having to think about food so much, which gives me the ability to make successful choices in my few food options that I am having to make. And that's just kind of creating good habits, creating positive, I don't wanna say positive energy because I think that's kind of funny, but it's creating a positive outlook instead of being frustrated and disappointed because I feel like I'm making bad choices. I'm making good choices and it's making me feel better about it. Um, the other thing, so that's been working really, really well. And even, I think yesterday my, my meal of the day was at, I don't know, three, four o'clock in the afternoon and, and I was good. I had had coffee, um, I'd actually had a protein shake earlier in the day after the gym and had that and I was good to go. Um, so another thing that's been working is my gym time. I have been consistently going uh, at least four days a week when my daughter's in school, I will go to the gym for a while. Um, and then sometimes lately I've been actually even able to go more when my husband's home in the evenings over the weekend. So that's been really good. And I think that's all. All right, so what am I gonna do moving forward into this week three? So I'm going to continue to hyper track on these forms. Um, and if you wanted to get it, it's actually called Memory Minder. So Memory, M-I-N-D-E-R, journals. And I bought this, it comes in a spiral bound and I just tear out the week's worth and put it on my clipboard. Um, but I bought this at Barnes and Noble and you can actually order them online and it is super, super detailed. And right now for me, I need to be personally responsible for everything that's going in my mouth, personally responsible for how I am handling situations and not allowing food to be my go-to, um, to solve it because it doesn't solve it. Um, so I'm also going to be doing intermittent fasting and OMED, one meal a day. And 
I'm also going to be continuing to go to the gym as I'm able to when my daughter's in school, uh, as well as just trying to increase the weight that I am currently doing at the gym. So uh, this is week three Wellness Wednesday, and I do believe for, for now, I'm just going to retire the Trim Healthy Mama. And like I said, I have, I have been, I'm on Facebook groups and a whole bunch of other stuff with uh, Trim Healthy Mama and people are losing hundreds of pounds with it and, and living the lifestyle. So like I said, I'm not sure if I'm just doing it wrong or it's just not, I'm just not at the point where I can successfully do it. I still think I will go back to it because with keto, you're limited on the fruits, the, you know, um, that kind of stuff. And, and I love fruits and I, I do enjoy every now and again, brown rice and quinoa and oatmeal and those kind of things. So I need to find out how to implement that. And then one last thing. So when I went back and looked at where I was, how I was eating, I did have off plan keto things, but they were in moderation and and I was satisfied with that. So I know I can get back there, but right now, until I can get back to my goal weight, I'm just gonna have to be super, super strict. So, and that super strict is not, I'm not being restrictive, I'm not being mean. I am taking personal responsibility for where my body's at right now and what I need to do to get it to where I want it to go. So, um, I hope you are all having a wonderful week. I'm going to just keep chugging and plugging through these days and uh, just continue to get rid of this weight that I don't need on my body and try to figure out how to just, I guess, just handle life in a little bit more of a balanced way. So till next time, I'll see you guys later. Continue to make good choices.